here we are. Jesus and Lucifer reunited back on the planet Earth, looking to see if they can do some conflict resolution. Personally, I think he's the problem. And I think I actually did the right thing, but I don't know. I think you're pointing the finger at the wrong guy. Look at you up there in the clouds, thinking you're so good, thinking you're so holy, thinking that- All right, check it out. I made an awesome, awesome job description. This one is a uh, game tester. Says, are you a game tester or even just a part-time gamer? Are you looking for an easy way to ex gain experience in the gaming industry? <laughs> Using your own desktop computer or laptop, <laughs> you'll be able to translate a few hours each week into an exciting gaming experience. <laughs> that will help showcase the uniqueness of what Game of Planets is about to release. The game itself is complete and is due to release. <laughs> you will be responsible for building and controlling a highly advanced alien species and empire. Uh, taking Game of Planets to our target audiences and making a lasting <laughs> benefits. <laughs> you can showcase gameplay as your own, <laughs> your own experience. <laughs> we will write a job recommendation and help you all with your empire. You can use your skills to explore new planets. <laughs> Well, Cage is basically understanding a sci-fi concept and a strategic, limited mindset. <laughs> the desire to no, is a it. truly awesome galactic ruler. Very nice. Responsibility is designing and build cutting edges. <laughs> this is perfect. Any responses? I just posted it 20 minutes ago, but no, not yet. But then look at this. Meet twice a month with the Game of Planets development team. Ah, very nice. So pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Anyway, I expect to get, uh, it's already had three views. I expect to get 20 to 30 applicants by tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's great. It'd be great if we get like 100 and then I get my goal. I'm going to create a team. I'm going to create, I want I want Jabba the Hutt on my team. <laughs> he was pretty tough. Who's going to sit there and press that button as many times as Jabba the Hutt? Did you change that? You got to change that mechanic. That, that gives somebody the ability with no skill to become the most powerful ruler. No, no, it was actually uh, the other guy, um, Hot Dogs. He actually, I guess he's some sort of software tester or something for a job. And he actually was able to get one of the computers at his, at his workplace dedicated to playing the game and set up a bunch of like automatic stuff to happen. So that it would click through his planets and just hit surface scan all the time, like 24 hours a day. He wasn't even there. What? Yeah. I was like, dude, that's that's awesome. Do it again. I was stoked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. Have all these programmers pack in and fucking create new super planets and <laughs> fucking ah, uh, you got to deal with humans, I guess, when you go into the public. That's it. Like, look, can you imagine what's going to happen with missions and objectives and people being able to get other people to do whatever they want? Hmm. This could get really funny really quick. <clears throat> I think we should do like a weekly show like this, which is like a, an assessment of the week of all the insanity. Maybe gives out some rewards to people who have done, you know, certain, uh, there's so many things we can do with like missions. I was thinking about that all day yesterday. What are you showing? Actually, I don't know. I forgot. Oh, hold on. I got the wrong window. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, you're, I lost you. Are you still there? I'm there. Oh, weird. All right, check this out. Damn, I pressed the wrong button again. All right, check you know what? Out. I don't think anyone else has done this sky fire thing. You know? Are you ready, I'm ready for this? I'm ready. Can you hear it? No. I can. You can't hear it? Can you hear it now? Yeah. Okay. 
day 111. Hello, everyone. Hello. And welcome back to the Holistic Visions training program. We are at day 111. In this two-week challenge of defining all the possible interconnections with our topic and adjusting our list of principles, we will be supported by a burning question. It will help us find the right answers for our topic and our community of interconnected topics. To reach a positive outcome in a collective action, it is easier to be in a well-defined conversation and stick to it until we get a clear sense of the next step. An excellent tool to clearly define the conversation to have as a group and focus on the right intentions is the conversation types that we were introduced to at the module two. So let's recap the tools we have to help us on our challenge and our objective. We have a burning question to help us find our answers. And we have a conversation type, a value, and a focus lens to support us in our conversation <laughs> in reaching the optimal outcome. But on top of that, thanks to the new Paradigm Toolkit and to Noah, a member of our community, we now have a system of chat rooms. This powerful tool will enable us to stay focused, sharp, and to the point in our exchanges with the opportunity to establish clearly defined conversation <laughs> types before starting the discussion. Have fun using this new tool. We wish you a beautiful end of the week and we will see you next Monday. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this tool has been delayed <laughs> because <coughs> they didn't even mention Planetary Guardians. Yeah, they said the new Paradigm Toolkit. And they put you inside of the, the container. I guess that's just the way things go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, they're, they're talking about us. They're talking about our chat rooms. And they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> well, I guess we didn't know what they wanted. No, well, it's, it's, no, but it's, it's not quite... Like it's a balance, right? I guess it's because uh, there's something. There's just the limitations of the technology of what what you can do. <laughs> well, I mean, it's more like uh, it's it's the limit of our team, right? I mean, sure. yeah, yeah. Because there's a, I mean that the chat screen I sent to uh, Dylan, the the how I really want the chat room to look. It's fantastic, man. I think it'll, it's, it's life changing. You mean the one that you made? <laughs> yeah. Well, I like the one I made. <laughs> no, yours is good for simplicity. Yours is good for simplicity. I like the simplicity. I think we'll have various versions. Like here's the simple version. And then as you upgrade, get more functions. And then it caught, you know, then begin, they begin to ching, 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 ching. But definitely, yeah. uh, <clears throat> and it will probably have two versions, your version and my version. I think, well, yeah, maybe. Because it doesn't matter if I'm know. the designer or what. You, you seem to, and other people are always distorting. They're always changing. It's always like, I'm not getting, this is what I want. I will. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> are you having a very secret plan, you swine hunt? <laughs> my shadow is watching you mr do good think so good think so good think so good i think uh i have something interesting to show you real quick here can you guess what's inside this um what's inside that um is it the community space? No. It's a bunch of garbage. It's a what? Garbage? That was not very effective because of my black, my background. You weren't able to see it. Anyway, 
happens often. Do you know, I, I watch TikTok a lot. And we're not like TikTok at all, man. Well, you know, there's two TikToks. There's TikTok China, and there's TikTok everything else. And the TikTok China is the big one. Oh. TikTok China. Yeah, like it's a Chinese company that makes it, right? And actually the TikTok in China, or the, the Chinese TikTok is the biggest one. So when you download the app, you're downloading the English one, probably, which is actually a, dis a different network. Same company, but they don't have all the, all the stuff that the Chinese one has. Oh, they got more function? No, they just got more people. And yeah, it's different. I don't know. So you don't think working as teams in the game of planets would be a good idea? I think it could be good. I think we need multiple scenarios. And so when people want to join to start the game, that's one of the scenarios they can pick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm, uh, I, I miss it. It was, I, I like having in the background all the time and having some actual true, I care. I'm waiting for that new technology. You know, when I get it, <laughs> now I got to do this because you motherfuckers are going to try to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well and, and now you've played the game all the way through pretty much and you really have a good idea of what to do this time probably around well the tech build i mean you know the mining ships do the mining ships quick because that's your engine that's your currency engine once you get the mining ship, yeah i did those really late you know? yeah and and then just keep building more and more of them but i guess it depends if you've got any uh anyone close to you that wants to eradicate you because then they're you get the mining ships, they build their uh, military ships, and then they just come in and wipe you out. Because <clears throat> you need year, I mean, you need months to build, right? Like it's it takes a while. I went out for the first time in a long time, went down to the coffee shop. <clears throat> and met a first nations elder who was selling his art and uh he was a great guy we had a great chat about the same age and uh my first social interaction with someone i i didn't know and he wants to do business he's got some beautiful art i just know that like once i go out in the real world and we got these things going i'll go on a tour i'll go on a tour and uh, stimulate like all the towns in uh, BC and get them all at Planetary Guardians and hook it over. Like, I think we should all aim at uh, Ferry Creek and just figure out a way to unite the media in BC and just, we need a victory. We need like one place where we just show strength and show organization. And, and that's what I think that we can do with this. <clears throat> hmm. You know, plant like what I was thinking, you know, like all these social media platforms, they're all so generic. They're not like you're coming in here and you're doing something. You're not just sitting around talking what you want. In Planetary Guardians, we have missions, right? We have like, I think, I think I see this is the whole rest of the thing is going to come through. But the main thing at some point is the web TV network for the issues. That's where the most leverage point is. And so I think we need an old growth forest protection coalition let's say team or a tv show i already got the website for that fairy creek is the example of the campaign and then within the campaign we have missions so we need to tailor make the um the teams for fairy creek like you need a and different from like the synergy wheel right because the synergy wheel is kind of like a business thing i i don't want to get too trapped by a certain template because I think like there needs to be a law team, there needs to be a frontline team, there needs to be media team, multi media teams. So like we need to have, I'm gonna create a coordinated sort of campaign map. And so we'll use the Ferry Creek as the reference point of reality. Cause whenever you're, to me, when you're designing shit, you don't have reality in there, you get lost. And so Ferry Creek is reality. And if we took on COVID and all that shit, that's like two bit like, that's the big battle, but Fairy Creek is winnable. Fairy Creek is definitely winnable. 
Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know enough about that right now. What do you thought? Because like, what I'd like to do is because you're, if you go over to, uh, what's his name, building the community one, I guess we can still integrate that. But then I'd like to get some people on the team working on some, like I, I want, I'd like to get the emails and the names of all the people on the team who said they're going to. Or so, sorry, uh, you sort of lost me. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Okay, I need all the emails of all the people that have said I'm willing to work. I need their name and email sent to me. <clears throat> I don't have any of their emails. Well, get, uh, get their emails, fuck. What, you just mm -hmm. have LinkedIn? Yeah. No, okay, we need to make, I need to start communicating with these people to get them working on the shit that needs to be done. And you're, you're going to be lost in freaking uh, Gino world and your, your course world. <laughs> well, I mean, once a week, once a week, we have to produce another mechanic. Yeah. For seven weeks. Are you going to do that? Okay. Well, I think we, we need to do that. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll type it out, but we need to both get kind of decide on it. Okay. So. But you know well, what, we should, we should have a list, we, you know, we need a list of mechanics, we almost need to break down the condo types and have that means we need 72 mechanics or combinations. of mechanics. Now, I mean, that would be, I think, ultimately, that would be the best idea is to have, you know, the cards that you pick actually mechanically Boom. Uh, make things happen. Yeah, I was thinking also for the values. Is like let's say they they go okay we want a marketing lens. The valued at marketing should come up, like the values they've just chosen. They've all just chosen ten values, right? In their synergy lenses. So, <clears throat> right. I'm not sure. My group said let's do it next week. <laughs> okay. Right. Um. Yeah, your group are the rebels, eh? I don't know. I, I'm not sure about the norm or not. I, I, I find that what's lacking is media. I, I want to know what the other teams are doing. I want to be able to look at their media. Um, media? I don't think, to, to me, they haven't quite, like to me, this is, a, we're creating a media system. Like each team is a media, is a web TV show. And then Liciel is a media network. I don't think so. They haven't realized that. That's just what I'm saying. I'm just saying that at some point, the big content that's going to come out of here is going to be media. Did you know that I hold all my best ideas quiet while I'm being recorded? <laughs> you're saying that no matter what, you've always got way better ideas that you're hiding from me in the world because we're on camera? And that I may be spewing ideas that probably shouldn't be spewed. Is that what you're saying? Are you giving me some sort of like little, of little message here? Oh, well, I'm just saying. How many people I watch our videos? How many people watch our videos? Other than us. I think there's one. No. Yeah, I just. Uh, by the know, time. Who knows that by the time. You don't know who that one person is. True. It's probably Olivia. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> hey, Olivia. <laughs> well, if I was them, I'd be watching this channel. They'd get more info about what's going on, but you know, because they're involved in this plan and they don't even know what's going on on the other end. There's tons of stuff going on. Well, a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, they, they, who knows what they're doing? Maybe they're playing golf. Are you kidding? They're always working. They got lots yeah. of work to do. Aren't they making the videos right now? Should, do you think I should tell them to change the values or keep those values? Because they're kind of like, that's the humor. Because this is the bringing the sacred in reality, ruthlessness at resources, and glamour, which is the mental equivalent, which is the emotional equi equivalent of illusion. So like glamour, like there's a book this big on just glamour. From the spiritual realm, realm it's like how humans are miss the point in so many ways and glamour is that marketing which is kind of like the glamour like those two values like that's a at two and eight 
it's it's devastating. It's it's a horrible value system. It's the value system of the real world. Well, I mean, they chose it through divination purposes, so I think they'll have to stick with it. I know. I know. It's rude. It's just, the sacred team is just like these. You know, it's it's like Christians with their swords saying, "Oh my God, is telling me that I'm supposed to win." <laughs> Griffins and their swords did a lot of damage in history. <laughs> they were ruthless. Yeah, ruthless and glamorized. They were ruthless after the resource. Hey, what do you think about a show between Jesus and Lucifer? And you play Jesus and I play Lucifer. Are you asking me to play the opposite of the devil's advocate? Well, yeah, you be whoever you are. You're Jesus. Um, yeah, you know, I, I think, I think, yeah, I mean, as far as like doing TV shows and stuff, I think we could actually do something, but I think we need a third person. Yeah. We need someone to be the host. I thought I was the host. And then you and I can play, well, if you want to be the host, you can be the host, but I think. Yeah, okay. You need to, you need to, then, then either way, there still needs to be at least one more person. Right. I mean, you can't have a one-on-one -on -one show where the host is just interviews one person and then it goes on to the next person. They got to have at least some other characters going on. Well, we got twenty characters. I'm waiting. You know, the secret plan. I think, like, yeah, you and me could have some interesting discussions about stuff. I could uh, play the opposite of the devil's advocate if that helps. If, that, if that's what you're saying, and and then we could call the show the devil's advocate. Well, no, because I'm the opposite of the devil's advocate. We could call the show. What's the opposite of advocate? No, I'm still an advocate. I'm just advocate for the opposite side. But isn't that. Which side am I? Well, I think I can tell from from your background. <laughs> I mean. With the two of us right now, this is this is obviously two different. You know, it it would make sense like this, sure. It, the, the the problem with this is though. When you when you really get into character, you really get into character, and without a script, it's a little bit weird because you know it just becomes this role play scenario. Well, we could do some script writing. Yeah, no, I, I think that's where that's. I mean, that's one way to do it, but the other way to do it is to have just topics and a host, right. and the host kind of acts like a. Um, uh, a mediator almost to so kind of control the conversation and say, okay, now over to you. And hey, okay, well, on the topic, you know, what do you think about this? And like, and then we just talk, or, or whoever the other two people are, just talk. Like that's that's an easy way to make a show. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So I'm wondering you know, if we could just talk about, you know, like serious stuff. Probably would be good. I would imagine, like, you know, like why. Why hasn't the Fairy Creek thing, uh, you know, had the impact that it should have? And, or, you know, that could be a whole topic. And go back and forth, and we could each represent different, just our own viewpoints or whatever. You know. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You need a freaking host because you're so freaking boring that this will never work. I mean, I think that's that's sort of a good thing in this context because I'm I'm pretty good at filling the fill in the void, right? If you're if you're the crazy one, I, I'm going to be pretty serious and easy going. But uh, if you're the super serious, like straight edged, you know, dude, I'll probably be more of the crazy person. I'm a pretty good mirror when it comes to that. I think so. Whatever I'm not doing. You can you can probably guess that you are doing it. <laughs> so you say, so you say, so you say. Ah, be good if Olivia came in right now. 
Yes. Can we help you? This, do you know what? This would be a good customer service. Uh, we'd be good customer service. Okay. Wow. Well, that's what we need. We need the convo types. And then we need like live versions of us everywhere. And that people are coming to Planetary Guardians and they just meet all these people who are just, <laughs> we're just doing something very funny. Planetary Guardians, you have to have something very funny going on. You're not that funny. <laughs> no, I mean, I like funny, but there's different kinds of funny. I think the Planetary Guardians need to focus on what's real and what we need to do. Get done. Yeah, you're right. Do you know anything about ASMR? Uh, applesauce and mayonnaise made with rats. No, it's this, it's called ASMR and I, I'm sure it stands for something, but they, they, uh, they make sounds. Always making sounds and whispering, and and it's it's got a, a sort of very kinesthetic approach. And you like if I was if I was talking about ASMR, you're always talking in a whisper. Some kind of some kind of animal, or I don't understand. No, it's 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 like people who are the SMR, you know, the people in the mic. They're just they talk like this, and it's everything's going to be good. But we're we're going to get you, and then they and then they bring in sort of like different sounds so it's it's very sound focused and the people are always whispering and it's it, it's it can be very irritating to see them in the tiktok is like let's say one in 50 people are doing some asmr kind of thing and it's uh i'd never heard of it before and someone introduced me to it and then i started watching some of the videos and i mean there there's so many other worlds out there that you don't have a clue about that are just like humanity is, is just like niching, like a niching quick into all these different little places. Yeah. yeah. Don't get too excited. Okay, so can you send a message out through uh, your little uh, people finder and get me the email and name <coughs> of everybody? uh well i mean what do i tell them hey can i have your email <laughs> yeah say elijah wants a, an email list of everybody and uh we, you know we're just starting of course you get through email we're not just going through linkedin we're going to go through every communication medium well i mean i don't think it's very helpful to just suddenly blast out a whole bunch of emails to these people though we got to figure out what the hell to do with them. Like, where's our product manager? And if we don't have her, then we need another one. We need a project manager. Yeah. But first, have you sent out a message about the meeting next week? No, because I mean, I, 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 I just had to cancel everyone today. I know. So send out another message saying the next week, Tuesday, three o'clock, that's going to be the weekly meeting unless something else changes and send out the message now. So they put it as a priority and put it in there. This is like the people that are already working for us, you mean? Everybody, everyone who's working and everyone who's about to work. And then I want to get the emails. I don't care what you think about if you think it's a good idea. I want the freaking emails and I want to send out a message to them to sort of welcome them in. And I want to, I want to start, you know, we have to start educating. You know, people aren't just coming in, they're just working. People are coming in and they're getting educated. And I'm going to be the one who's educating them. Well, speaking of which, uh, Ezekiel is still hoping to have that call with you. Okay, we'll arrange it. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I, I kind of got burned out from from talking to all these people. To be honest. Well, you should um, be doing it. You should you should give that assignment to uh, um, our new one of our volunteers. Manager. Yeah, I know. You gotta learn how to delegate, man. 
you got, you got to learn how to be a super IT guy because, and, and I think we should look at this community thing with Gino and we should integrate it with all our other products. And I should be brought in to design shit because, you know, every project that we do from now on is linked to the big picture. You're getting this, like to the side of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can see my my suggestions are falling on deaf ears. Well, I mean that's strange thing to suggest, but here you go. This is the. Can you see that? Hold on. Got a better better way to show it anyway. Hold on. Well, where is it? It's kind of the basic website that I had planned out for him. And the basic workflow. Oh, go back, go back. And what are the five links on the top right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is just like a template, right? I made this template and put this stuff all over the place, but so I don't this know what his resources is, might be. I don't know what these external links might be. I don't know what these pages are. I like it. I mean, it's similar. Yeah, it, you know, it's just. Do you know what the featured media should be? It should just be a Gino channel, which is all of Gino and his pictures, because he's always having pictures with everyone. So Gino should be the star of the show. <laughs> we should create this as a TV show and have Gino as the star. What do you think about this? Um, I also made this. What program did you make it in? Yeah, so I'll show you. It's pretty cool. It's called, uh, what's it called? How's it called? Draw.io. That's pretty cool. Draw.io. So you can start off with, yeah, you should check it out. You'd probably like it. Sounds, it sounds you, like, is it free? You can make like all these fancy things. It's got lots of templates for professional stuff. And <coughs> also like, oh, I think that's the next wiring thing. diagram. Is that free? Yep. Jesus. Like, uh, that's perfect for all our different types of missions. Yeah, that's pretty good. Here's this one. Then you got great. Uh, oh, oops. Well, that one would be great for the seven missions, eh? Yeah, it could be. It's being stupid. What do you do? Oh. There we go. You know, so super simple. You can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, for example, I can add this thing and say connect this thing over to here. And maybe this thing goes to decomposers and also to uh, it connects to the climate somehow. You know, maybe I got, uh, you know, and there's, there's tons of stuff you can, you can add in here. When did you find this? Uh, through the course I'm taking. We had to use it for some stuff. Wow. That's a good one. I think you, just, I think you, I think you just gave me a, uh, you just gave me the, the tool I need. Well, yeah. I mean, if you play around with this a lot, uh, kind of get to know it, it's pretty good. You can do mock-ups. That's what the UI people are doing, right? Like, uh, I'll show you that. 
just delete this real quick. Let's see, where's the markups? Oh, where's this? Got to actually click on it. Hang on, I can zoom up here, make a bigger canvas, put a bunch of these things on there. And you got, you know, you got uh, homepage. You know, you got uh, uh, group page, whatever. You know, and you keep going, and then you can take these and say, okay, well, oops. Uh, Here and this one. Connect over to this one, and then this one. You can go back to the home page. And, gotcha. uh, I got it. You know, ooh, there's a profile over here. You know, all this, all this stuff, some forms. And there's a form here. Can I have this here? Oop, there's an email form thing. So I can make anything I want in here and hand it to our team and they could build it. Yeah, well, I mean, the, remember the UI UX people we interviewed, they showed us basically, uh, you know, they had a yeah. whole bunch of this stuff. Yeah. That's what they do. That's their job is to, to use these things professionally and fill them up with detailed plans of exactly how all the pages and all the buttons and everything, how it all works and how it all connects together. And then, uh, then the developer takes that and develops it. You know, that, that's, I think, what we have to to build as well as like, they call it, you know, like pipeline, the project manager will call it a pipeline. Need the, we need to make a pipeline so that your ideas flow all the way into the real world through the UX designers, into the developers, out into the, into the public, you know, through a project manager. We just got to basically like look at the structure of a, of a company and then fill it up with volunteers to perform those roles. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of where we're that's where we're we were fumbling towards without knowing it. Yeah. Well, this is a perfect next step for me. Thank you. Yeah, this thing's really cool. And you can connect to your Google Drive so then you can share, like you can share the, you know, take take the drawing or whatever and share it with, with whoever. Um, and then you can edit this at the same time. Like I'll just try to, I'll try to load up the one that we were doing for our, for our, yeah, here we go. Like this is an actual one for our board game. We have to design a board game in our, in our class right now. Uh, I don't know why it's so, what's going on here? Why is it so shitty quality? It's weird. I can only see part of it. There's something weird going on here. Maybe I'm not signed in with the right person. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, yeah, there's lots of stuff you can do with this program, but it's pretty cool. Just draw.io. And I think like all, you know, this stuff actually does things to it. It's not just a bunch of placeholders, like. Um, I don't even know how to use all this yet but myself, but <coughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing there. Hey, okay, do you want to stop that and go back to, um, to Gino? Uh, try to find his Gino. Yeah, this is just a simple one that I made. It looks cool, but it only took me about 20 minutes and basically outlines what his community hub project needs to do.
Can you send me these two? Uh, I can send you a picture. Yeah. Cool. I don't know why you want it. I was just showing you as an example. Well, no, but I mean, this is what I'm interested in is how to integrate the data from the from the mission program into here. Into the draw dial? Or... No, into this. In, I mean, into Gino's hub. Oh, but his his community hub thing is is just for his master's program at the university. It's for it's for the students to connect together. I understand. And for the teachers to be able to like, you know, get access to information to how to contact their students and stuff, and they can see their courses and stuff. I understand, but you're, you're you don't seem to follow me sometimes when I'm talking about integration. I definitely don't. G I think you just want to integrate everything. Well, fact, I'm a whole systems thinker, man. That's what I do. That's my function. So of course, yes. But just just hear well, me out for a second. Hear me out for a second. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure Gino is very interested in the conversation types from a teaching point of view. He gets it. And then the values, like the the convo types of the values, just those alone, not not necessarily anything else of the inflow matrix. Um, so just having anything that, that has that built into it as a teaching tool, I mean, as a teaching tool for teachers, you bring people in, you have a chat room, you set a mission, give a timer. That's a, that's a great teaching tool. So I think one target market will be educators. And then Gino is the example of just like LaCiel and then integrate man. And then have, here's just, all you got to do is like, missions you know student missions i mean he could he could create his whole curriculum on missions with teams and it would integrate with the real world great and it would be a simple way to to start teaching stuff in that way if they're not doing it already i mean believe me i i saw his team they cannot communicate <laughs> they need communication training everyone does so i mean you just when i say integrate it's like we have a language structure that can organize within any software system and it can organize within any offline system. Like the thing is there's so much leverage in having the, the language structure as your reference point rather than any specific technology because the language structure fits into them all. And that's what the integration point is. The integration point is in the mind of the individual student and in the mind of the teachers, right? You're giving me that glaze. <laughs> Jesus, talk to me. Well, I, I mean, yeah, uh, sounds interesting, I think. Sounds like you think what are you talking I think you'd about? have to talk to Gino. <laughs> I know, but you aren't you getting it like getting the significance here? Uh, I mean, I have some ideas of my own, and I think <laughs> I think we could do a lot of good, but I think we need help. We, we can't do any anything else. I, I'm not I, the thing is, I don't really have time to consider a whole bunch of extra stuff right now because I know I, I won't have time to do it. I, I need help. We need time. We need people. Um, otherwise, what we need to do is is get these these mechanics done. Well, in time. You're fuck. You're the guy who went back to school, my friend. I know, but I'm currently going to school, so you know. I know. That's what it is right now. I know. Anyway, so I'm just. <laughs> we got to get the team organized so that we can just go from idea to implementation with other people doing it, and you can be supervising, right? So. This can be done. I'm just saying that the don't underestimate the power of the inflow matrix. <laughs> like it's it's I will not under I do not underestimate the potential of it. We need to make it a reality still. Well, maybe you can talk to Gino and say, hey Gino, Elijah seems to have a few ideas that are pretty decent about what you want to do. Maybe we should have a chat together, find out maybe how to make this a little bit bigger and spread some of that wealth that Gino has so the coffers of some other people can get filled. I, I can try, yeah. I mean, he did say, that's why I told you too in that original meeting I had with him, he seemed like he was going to come talk to you about it. He didn't even mention it. You got like, I've had this happen before where, you know, I think we got to start thinking team in terms of business, right? If we all go off into individual contracts, I mean, we can't like the whole idea of the shared knowledge communities is freedom. 
you get to be on these product teams and you get to sort of do your own work and you're part of this larger community. That's what I'm aiming at in terms of creating the larger, bigger team. And now we have a team building system, right? We have the, give me those, that fucking look again, or that cold stare. Just... It's, it's 3.20 in the morning here. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I, I get a little freaked out by people's eyeball stares because I'm so used to people kind of going a little bit strange on me. <laughs> it must be these lenses. They, they misrepresent my eyes a little bit. Yeah. I think we got some big ideas and we need to do them <laughs> one step at a time. Yeah. Um, I think you should talk to Gino. And I think because you also should check in with him about like what the hell's going on with your Kickstarter. You know, you got, you got more than one reason to contact him anyway. I know. Do you know what I do with people? I wonder how long they will go with not, if I don't initiate contact, how long will it go? And usually it's fucking forever. Well, yeah. I mean, they, they probably think of the same thing. They're probably like, Oh, well, I wonder when he's ever going to contact me. And then they forget about it. No, but this is not like Gino made, Gino is the one who initiated the Kickstarter thing. I didn't go to him. He came to me. And then he got the team together, put them together. And, and it was just like, okay, this is what we're going to do. I, and then I haven't, and I had one meeting with them, haven't heard from them since. And they didn't, they haven't, oh. you know, just... From the point of view, the context, as I understand it, their communication in terms of if they were trying to build trust with me and I didn't know Gino, like they're horrible. Horrible. <laughs> well, yeah, well, maybe that's fine then. I don't know. I mean, it depends what you want. Yeah. Do you want them to do the Kickstarter for you or not? I well, don't know. no, what, what I figured out was I have to do it myself first in Canada and do it the way that sort of makes sense to me. And then I can have something as a reference point to show to people go, okay, this is what, because they can, you know, they come in and they sort of like take over right away. Like they're already analyzing the concept. They don't spend any time learning what it is. They just get blocked at what they don't understand. That's what I got from it. And then they took, then they asked me no questions about it, which doesn't show to me a great deal of intelligence. It's like, what the fuck are you guys? I'm the fucking inventor. You're being given something. I gave you it. In a, in a chart which you asked, which means I gave you my IP property without any agreements and shit. And then you come back at me with this, with, with this treatment, which to me in, in, in sort of life is you watch how people treat you. And if they're treating you shitty from the beginning, why would you want to go forward with them, right? You know, if they're not, if they're not, kind of, and, and the only reason is I have such a strong other connection with Gino thinking, oh, fucking, you know, Gino's <laughs> this magical magician I'm in this kitchen with in William's game. I told you that story, right? Did I? No, I don't understand most of what he's doing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's off my radar. No, right no, now. but I mean, to me, if we're looking at this from the point of view of the comedy movie, Gino's that character who kind of comes in every now and again and throws this, throws something in which is highly valuable which if you act like the LCL thing, the whole LCL thing is happening because of Gino. So it's, it's kind of like these characters, they may not do good here, but over here they do great kind of thing. So you got to kind of balance everything. Well, I think you should just contact them and be like, hey, do you want to have a meeting? <laughs> I'll probably be like, yeah, okay. I like mediums. Let's meet. No, no. I want to be farther. I want, I want to have my card set in my hand in a box being sent to Saskatchewan. So probably. I don't mean about the Kickstarter. I mean about whatever else. It doesn't right matter. There. I don't want to talk to him now okay. until I get my thing ready. Like so many times I'm talking to people and it just fucking doesn't happen because I'm not ready. And I'm always talking about the future. And so I'm always futurizing with people and they, and you know, they, I'm new to it for so long and probably no one believes what the, I, I know people don't believe me what I'm talking about when now it's like, this is actually, you know, kind of real. Um, but people to me, it, it's like, they haven't realized that we need to organize together quickly to deal with what is occurring. And now it's gotten so bad, like the fucking vaccine passports are coming in, not, not passports, the passes. 
Fuck, you need a pass to get into most of the shit in BC now. That's so fucked. Kids have to wear fucking mm -hmm. masks to school all day long. There's 61 scientific studies that say masks don't fucking do anything. And they're getting all the kids eight hours a day to wear a fucking mask. Like, could you get any worse? Everyone out here is in a fucking mask in the public. They're brain dead. Well, like I say, I have a lot of good ideas, but uh, <laughs> usually I hide them from the camera. I'm not interested in, in making a TV show about what we should do. I'm, <laughs> I'm interested in doing it, though. Yeah, okay, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> doing things behind the scenes. Not 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 willing to speak your truth on camera. Oh, that is my truth. You look so divine. It's a little annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, why are you in the fire anyway? I mean, don't you want to play the character you want to be? I'm always in the fire. But does, does, don't you want to play the character you want to be? You don't want to be in a fire, right? Be, you know, trapped with your shadow and all these other things. So why don't you play, you know, if you become, if you, if you pretend to become what you want to become, you will become it. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. <laughs> I like my shadow, man. He's a friend of mine. He's a good friend of mine. He's a friend of mine. He's a good friend of mine. Friend of mine. Stop looking at me that way, Jesus. That's why I left in the first place. Always giving me those looks. All that judgment. Never good enough. Don't judge, just, you know, judging is not so good either. Thanks, brother. Yeah, well, I mean, okay, the planet's a mess. People are crazy, distracted. Uh, you know, everyone thinks there's a horrible uh, cabal in charge of everything. The truth probably is no one's in charge of anything, and it's all just a mess. Either nope. way, we need the same technology. That's disinformation, you know, man. The disinformation campaign worked if you think that. They don't want to be known. They don't want to be identified. They don't want to be seen. That's their best defense. People like you going, they don't exist. They don't I don't exist. think it really matters. I, I'm saying if, even if you know, they do exist, you know, there's lots of things. Um, it doesn't matter. They, they don't have any power over, you know. They don't. To they, do. don't they have no power. They control the money supply. They control the money. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> brainwashed as well. You're just you, you're just you, you're, you you're have telling not, me all this stuff. You have not been you're, fucked you're with. Enforcing, I had enforcing my, their power system that you believe in. It. Or maybe you're out to lunch by not believing in it. Like I don't if it think exists, it really matters. It, it depends. It matters if you have an enemy that is actually has design that is against you. And you do not either acknowledge it or have a defense against it or understand it in the least. That's why the good guys always get wiped out. They get fucking wiped out every time because those in power are freaking ruthless and they take them out in ways that they never see them coming over and over again. Well, perhaps. And I might be more optimistic than you. <laughs> I'm saying we got a chance now for the first time because of the internet, because of video, and because there's so many of us. There's billions of us, there's hundreds of thousands of them. Yeah, I say it's inevitable. And we can either choose to be part of the change or not. And that's what everyone's doing now. Mm. That's the way I see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd rather be part of it. I think we're, we're both rather be part of it. That's what we're trying to do, right? Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> all right i may have to go to sleep it is 3 30 in the morning okay it's been lovely chatting with you and uh let's see what happens um, 
Yeah, I, I'm not sending Olivia an email tonight for sure, but maybe have some more thought about that. We'll talk again tomorrow or something. My tomorrow, yeah. I mean. Yeah. Because I guess he's going to want to email back sometime. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not so sure. I mean, I I guess we just need to chat with him, the three of us maybe, because I, I don't we have like because the the sequence is built into the software i mean software doesn't change right unless we make big changes and we, we can't do that right now so we have to sort of go with what we got yeah like he's he says you know he wants he, you know what does he say here like i, th I think it's in uh -huh. terms of like do you know what i mean he wants like the whole thing is around the seven and whether he's got a two and another seven kind of thing. So maybe the maybe these two shouldn't be within the chat room. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so. Just reading his email again. Yeah, he says that uh, it was not our intention for facilitators to prepare everything upstream of the conversation. We want to deliver something that is ready to use. So with that is that's a function where you'd have, let's like, say, the facil as an administrator, you don't give the facilitators the ability to program the room. You have a they program the room. The facilitators just implement it. It sounds like the facilitators just show up in the chat room like everyone else and they're just members. <laughs> I mean, they can do that if they want. All they got to do is just create themselves as an administrator. Or they're already administrator. They just got to create themselves as, as the facilitator for every group and then click on the top left up there and into each of them and create the missions for all the groups. No, I, I think and what we're... App, and then I'll add all of the members for all of the 12 groups. I mean, they can do all that. I thought we were saving them some time by kind of like you know, you know, spider webbing it out or whatever. But yeah, they can do that if they want already. Maybe maybe they just don't see how or something. Well, I don't I don't think um because then they can go in and manually type in those objectives and, and cards that they were gonna make them use anyway. But I, I think to me that takes out the purpose of the facilitator. I think the, the facilitator should feel part of it and learn how to use the tool. And then like they can all choose, like to me, they'd be brief. The, here's the value, here's the combo type, here's the lens, here's the objective, here's, you know, that's what you program in. And then each facilitator will go through the process of programming that in. And to me, that's, that's, that's better because down the road at some point, but I get their point. They want to, they want to have control over that. Yeah. And I mean, to do it the other way, they would. So they, they just set themselves up as the as the 13 facilitators as well. But they, that's that sort of de defeats the purpose of being a facilitator, having a facilitator kind of thing. Yeah, well, I, yeah, it does. I mean, the, the facilitator of the groups would have no more power or responsibility or, or anything than any of the other people know. But maybe that's not what they want. Maybe they just want them. Well, no, no, but maybe not now, but do you see the... the it, I think that would be a good function to toggle at the at the administrator level where you can input missions for facilitators to go do versus facilitators choosing their own missions. Kind of like limit the choices of the facilitators themselves. Well, yeah, like they, the, the facilitator maybe earns the right to then do their own programming. Because at the beginning, they have to learn how to do it like we're doing here. So they're getting something already thought of by the administration. But that toggle, that's to me, that's an important sort of uh, switch or ability. Yeah. I don't know. I think, yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. Uh, but um, I mean, he wants this figured out by the end of the week, basically. 
I, I don't think that's going to happen. No. I, I think, I think, I mean, to me, the solution is there. The solution, and and they have to brief, and we basically gave them the solution in the in the vid in the video, didn't we? Well, because we told yeah, them. I mean, we, 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 we told said, them you could be your own facilitator. Yeah. Well, no, not just that, but just saying that the first seven missions are going to be programmed by the CL stewardship team, right? But then I think at some point each team might want to do it their own way, right? At some point, the the bird's going to leave the nest. And each team is going to kind of use the tools in whatever way they, they use. And to have that for themselves is what we're aiming at, right? We want them to learn to be able to reach an objective, any objective, in a chat room, in a time period, together. That's, to me, the bigger skill we're teaching. Yeah, I mean, but maybe they don't care. Because they're, they're seeing this as their program, right? And one, two, three. Well, no, no, but I know them from being on the, the end of October. <laughs> Like the seven weeks takes them to the end of October if they do one mission a week. And if they don't start until next week, it's like, you know, the first week of November. And isn't the whole program done then? Pro, yeah, the symposium's at the end of November. Yeah, so maybe they're just seeing this as, you know, one more thing during the course. But afterwards, I don't think they're expecting people to stick together after the after the course is finished or or that any <laughs> of these goals or any, anything happens after. No, no, no. Are you kidding? I know they do. They, they want these teams to be able to create things, have something emerge. They expect them to go on beyond the timeline that they have here. Yeah. This is, this is like a birth okay. period. Like, I mean, to me, like all that time that you put in with your team at the symposium, to me, it's kind of like, okay, now you meet each other physically and now you're, you're going to jump to the next level or the next kind of, uh, uh, you're on your own kind of maybe, I don't know. I don't know what have happened yet. Like, what do you, you see? I, you know, I, I mean, they have like a Lysiel community, I guess, if, if, with all the people that have been on in the courses throughout the years that are all together networked. And they can all go to the symposium, I think. I don't think so. I think only the people no. who are in this program can go to the symposium. Now, either way, I don't think anyone's going to the, that symposium from what I gathered. Oh, really? No, I mean, because of COVID, like Spain is a horrible place to be right now. They, they've locked everything down. It's Portugal, I think. Everyone says Spain in my group. They're going to the, the things in Spain. What is it? Oh. Well, anyway, yeah, like most, like Gino, most of the people in my group were, were planning on going, but now pretty much none of them are. Because, you know, they don't think they'll be able to get there. They don't think they'll be able to get back. Or, or when they do get back, they're going to have to go through quarantine and all the stuff. And yeah. they get a passport and everything. I was thinking the same. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Or if it is, there's going to be like 12 people there. Yeah. You know, all all with vaccine passes and, and also having a quarantine on the way home and, you know, do all this crazy stuff while they're there. And yeah, this is not, you know... It's not the right year for the symposium, I would say. I think their best chance is software system like this that continues to, but I mean, I don't know. I really wish that there was more transparency between the groups and, and in the organization itself. I have no idea what's going on with the rest of the groups and our facilitator doesn't even know. He has no idea how many people from the other groups have dropped out. Half our group is gone. You know, if we heard that, everyone else and every other group was still there and it was just our group, then we'd be, you know, we'd be kicking ourselves in the pants and getting back up and, and, and you know, going full steam. But I, I suspect that it's like that throughout the teams. It's like half the teams are gone on, 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 you know, half the teams. They're just not showing up for the meetings anymore. They're not interested. I don't know. Or maybe it's just our group, but I, I, I would like there to be more transparency. And I thought by this point, there would be crossovers between the teams already. Like that doesn't seem to be built in, actually. Well, because the, if they go through seven weeks of this, they're they're still not. We're still not going to meet anyone from the other groups. The crossovers come with the shared knowledge community using the synergy wheel and making other teams. But I think that's coming in a couple of missions. That's the. I think that's. But I think that's only one mission. Like I. Like, I agree with you. 
I, wa I, I wanted I yeah. wanted to sit in in each team at some point. I mean, it, I mean, it, I mean, this is a big sort of research experiment. There's a there's a lot of things that are sort of like, huh. um, you yeah. know, yeah, lots of learning, but uh, definitely we can do things. We can learn from this to show how to go from like a real mission to mission and seven. You know, we we need to. Like the mission of objective is the focus point. The tools behind achieving them are like a background kind of thing. Mm. And then no, the mission. Because to me, like here, what we're doing, we're introducing something where you know you accomplish an objective. Like you never just because you like that's anyway, we'll see. And like uh did I obviously you probably saw this, right? They sent us this a few weeks ago. It's uh mission two. The end of the end goal of the HTV community. Um, well, go back. Let me read that. I can send you this too. It's a PDF. See, this is why I say that the media is the, the only way to, to do this is through media. I think well, they even use the word synergistic here. <laughs> I mean, to me, essentially, it's the, it's the operating system that connects them all. The inflow matrix. Like if every team actually used the inflow matrix as a software program, then they would connect together in the other ways. Like it's it's the communication system that creates the connections. Yeah. upcoming milestones. I know this is notice this is in here. Synergy wheel team. Uh, yeah.
think the very last thing is defining roles on the synergy team map. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is that like all that's plus share of topic vision with the community? Those two things don't seem to match. Like they're, they're two massive things. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Week guess, seven doesn't seem to have anything. I guess that's it because if, like for you guys, if you didn't define your value system, you go to the next thing. It's like, the, I guess with our stuff, it's like when you complete that, then you can go to the next thing. And so then you can make sure that people have done what they need to get done in order to go forward rather than just always thinking or hoping that the people are doing what you're saying. Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, I've just sent you that as well. We have it. So I think like the <clears throat> the story of what there or we're doing there. The story of it is the is the thread that connects it all together. And the media is, is the collection of around the story, and then within that media is the storyline. And because we have this new multi-dimensional way of creating media, that it's the whole thing about the interconnectivity between the teams. Is going to come between, you know, again, the communication, communi communication system of how everyone's talking to one another and then how that stuff is collected and then that, how that stuff is stored and then how other people can access it. And so that's what you're doing with Gino is, you know, the hub idea is going to be so much about data storing and then recollection and the filing system. How do you file all that stuff? And that's what you know, I think the inflow matrix comes in as being a little bit uh, useful because it's it's already got a lot of frameworks that you know, pretty comprehensive. I mean, I, I really think that, you know, holistic thinking and data flow is going to come from having the same language reference point in terms of a model. And the reason there's so much chaos is because there's all these different pieces and parts and nobody knows really how they connect together. What we're going to be doing is as, as we add parts and pieces, we're building a whole system. There is a larger design. And so, you know, it's, it's a puzzle, puzzle and a game. It's actually fascinating. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, like that, like the, remember the chat communication of having like the media team, individuals and media team, and the other team, then the shared knowledge community and the issue coalition, those? Uh, yeah, yeah. Remember that? And then each of that is a chat. So I have a chat with an individual. I have a chat with my media team. I have a chat with my um, superhero team. I have a chat with my shared knowledge community. I have a chat with the issue coalition. Like that's multi if that's all real time you know stuff that was in a game like that's what's missing from your game i think at some point is that there's the fun part of a lot of these games is chatting with your other friends or chatting with your opponents or chat you know the your communication in that game is so like i guess it's old paradigm right you can only do so many things you you, you can't look at the old messages it's very limited. It's, it's not old paradigm. It's just it's just not very well developed. Right. <laughs> well, I, no, I'm just saying like old paradigm is not well developed. Like old people got away with what they did because the communication systems were so infantile. You know, what's happening now is we're starting to get very sophisticated communication systems and you just can't get away with the same shit like you did. Hmm. Like, yeah. I, like the thing about Gino, like it's it's like, have you done a design specs with, with Gino? What do you mean? Did you, I mean, do you know, did, has he outlined on paper what he wants or did he just say, build me something? Nah, I mean, we've, we've had voice talks, like video talks, but no, the, my contract is super vague. Build me a hub and make it work. So he didn't give you any kind of 
plans, layouts, or all the functions that he wants in it? Um, no, no, we're still, I'm still trying to get that from them. See, so, uh, here, I'll show you this. Oh, yeah. Oh, Uh, I've lost my, where the hell is that? Ah. Half hour this is our meeting from a few days ago. I was going to show you a couple of highlights. The flow wheel stuff, maybe half hour, 40 minutes, 43, if you will, of that document. Um, review the reporting protocols and, and get some kind of system in place for that and maybe assign reporting to some folks in the group. And then, um, uh, and then this, uh, this flow wheel, you know, the, you know, get do really lean in and do that. So maybe you spend 15 minutes on the, on the topic purpose, you know, 15 minutes on the reporting and half hour on the, um, on the uh this is our plan for next week <laughs> the rest of them, basically. does that sound like a good breakdown 15 minutes on yeah. the flow wheel no no half an hour on the flow wheel that right. sounds pretty smart to me okay. is that on making a yeah, value system yes oh yeah well i just took it off youtube so i was going to show if, if everyone has two minutes <laughs> and then I you took over with your class <laughs> <laughs> The blanket really gives you the Jesus look. Yeah. So you go to YouTube um, and you go to this is the background. All right, no, no, seriously though. Uh, if you stop the recording, I'll show you some, something else. Okay.